may I have these 10 sacred structures? I want you to, to uh, see something with me in pure principle. Mm -hmm. <coughs> when I got into how we could develop environment controls and doing more with less for humanity, so mm -hmm. that sometimes you might do so much so little you could take care of everybody, I got into uh, realizing that all of our structuring, all of engineering, is predicated on having marble blocks on marble blocks and stone to stone, mm -hmm. compression to compression. We didn't get into tension of steel until 1851. We got, then we got our Brooklyn Bridge in 1883. Anyway, I saw that the Earth doesn't touch the moon, and that's, that's sort of the sun, that the electron is as remote from the nucleus as is the Earth from the moon, in respective diameters. I said, nothing in the roots touches anything else. And all of our building is in terms of touching, touching, mm -hmm. and assuming something called solids when physics found there were no solids. So I said, can I discover the, how humanity can use its principles of holding things together? Because that's what Kepler discovered was these planets were holding together and with the sun and millions of miles apart. And they're holding together there's something invisible in tension. So I realized that when we made the wire wheel, we did connect the rim with the hub just in tension. It took a minimum of 12 spokes to do it. So I said, do I think, can, can I get into omni, instead of just being in a plane like a wheel, can I get it omnidirectional? Mm -hmm. So this is what we have here. This is, is if you were to get rid of that water, it would be very, very good. Sure. I'm going to just drop this. I like to, 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 to I mean, let's see, this is like a basketball. It just bounces. Oh, yeah. Now, it distributes all its loads. You're seeing a lot of sticks, and the sticks, no stick touches another. The sticks are like the bricks. Mm -hmm. They're held together simply by what you call Dacron thread, which we use for cleaning our teeth. But no thread is, is slack. Everything is all pulling. Uh, so when you when I drop it like that, it distributes the load through the whole thing. This is like a it's like a basketball. Mm -hmm. It's exactly like a basketball. Put air into a basketball, pump it in, and it gets hotter and hotter. It gets a little hot. But what the, the molecules of atmosphere you're putting in are air. Do not go to the center and explode outwardly like that and be vibrating like that. What they do is go in and go carrying around. They're trying to get out, so they hit the skin here and then bounce, keep bouncing around. In engineering, we have something called every action has a reaction. I want you to think of two swimmers getting into a long, big swimming tank. They start at opposite ends. They get to the middle of the tank. They double up their knees, put their feet against each other, and shove off from each other. They get the same shove off they would from a wall. Mm -hmm. So that each one of these is a molecule of gas, two of them, shoving in opposite directions. One goes this way, and then they go carrying around, hitting the skin, pushing the skin out. And the skin is in tension, but they, they're trying to go straight. <laughs> but they're not coming in out like that, going around, cascading around, or rather, uh, carrying around. So now you begin to see what you're looking at. Each one of these is simply a model of the molecules of gas going in the two directions, hitting the skin. So the skin is trying to bring them in, and they're trying to get out. So I found that, yes, sure enough, now I have a way of closing space, which there's no limit of intention, there's no limit of distance, like there's no limit of distance of the, of the pull between the different atoms. For instance, the, uh, we have a, one of our planets is, is a billion miles away from the sun still being held. Other words, tension could be absolutely unlimited. But once I could find I could do that, I now can enclose any amount of space with un unlimited space. Kind of held it, doing an entirely on tension. And compression is very, very, very limited. So this became the essence of the geodesic domes. Today, society doesn't realize something that I undertook, which was seeing, as I said, speaking about introducing artifacts which would control the environment. I learned, for instance, as you, you can, that the the Earth is not touching the Moon, the Moon is not touching the Sun, and so forth, yet we all held together this invisible gravity that, that Kepler discovered. And yet we were making all of our buildings brick on brick, compression to compression. I found out where the wire wheel was a great breakthrough, and I said, I f can I find the principles? Sure enough, I've been able then to, to develop a structure which has, where none of the compression members touch one another. And you might say, well, what's going on here? I, I can't quite make it. It looks very complex. If you have a, a basketball and you put air in it and you push, put a little more air, it gets harder and harder. 
The air doesn't, the molecules of gas don't go to the center and they explode out of it without be vibrating. They go cascading around. They, they hit here, they hit here. They're trying to get out. They keep hitting the skin and, and coming around. Now, each one of these sticks you're looking at here is part of, 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 that, of, that, of that pattern. I want you to think about two swimmers in a swimming tank starting from opposite ends and meeting in the middle of the tank, put their doubling up their knees, put their shoes, feet against each other, and shove off from each other. This is what engineering shows. Every action has a reaction. So each one of these sticks here represents a, a, a molecule of gas going this way with the reaction one going that way. They're trying to get out of the system. They're hitting not a vertical blow, 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 blow but a glancing blow. So this is then the model of the, of the molecules of gas are doing on the basketball. And this thing just bounces right, like the basketball. Now, I found out then how then to enclose space where we're dealing only in tension. The only thing that's continuous there is a little delicate, what do you call, Dacron fiber, the kind you cleans your teeth with. It's being held together entirely in tension, like, as Kepler's will. So I found then when you do that, you don't have to have, you, you can, don't have all these columns and, and beams. You have absolutely clear span of space, absolutely unlimited. By virtue of this, all the geodesic domes have, you can, all the geodesic domes are, are made on this principle, and we'll find that they, I have them, there are now over 300,000 geodesic domes around the world, and their enclosing space was so little that with the, using the principles of, of doing more with less than the visible world, using right alloys, we've been able to make it work.